welcome to Quasi's Bell Tower with your host, Quasi. And today we're going to learn how to make LED lanterns. So let's get to it. Okay guys, so we're going to make, to make this LED post, I've got some foam insulation here. I've already marked this at a half an inch. The posts are going to be a half an inch because we need room for uh, to drill the hole through it and to put the wire through it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just run a couple of these through real quick. So there you go, two half an inch by half an inch poles. Well, the length uh, doesn't really matter. We'll cut these down to the right size. We'll move on to the next step. Okay, the next step is to take these and uh, take the smoothness out of the corner here, rough them up. Um, you could use a file. Um, I'm going to use a a uh, exacto knife to do this. Just going to rough it up, give it different sizes. It doesn't have to be perfect. You want it to look like uh, it's a rough cut piece of uh, lumber. So basically you do that to all four sides. So there you guys go, rough piece of lumber. Next step is with this is you take a wire brush like this and you take the tips of these wires, just a few of them, and you just scrape along the wood here, or along, along the foam here, to make it look like wood. You just gotta do it a few times. It does a really good job with it. Put a little pressure to it. Just keep doing it until you get the look you're looking for. Now with a lot of this here, with the wood texture, I learned this from John from Dungeons and Glue Sticks. Now the wood, uh, using uh, the insulation foam for the LED light here, um, when I originally made one of these, I made it out of wood, and I didn't like the look of the popsicle sticks. Um, I'll show you guys a picture of that in just a sec. But uh, when uh, Jeremy from Black Magic Craft did this, um, when he made his uh, lantern post, he basically used foam insulation. Um, same thing, he used the purple, the pink stuff compared to the bluish green that I have here. Okay, now I'm going to take these and I'm going to cut them down to the size I need. So I've already set this up at two and a quarter because I'm going to do two and a quarter uh, length or height for my post. So I'm just going to run this right through the hot wire cutter as fast and as smooth as I can. Um, I got another one here for spare, that's why I did two of these. Um, we can use one of these for a post, but I'm going to do this one more time. Try to do it as straight as I can. Okay. Okay, I probably have to sand them down a little bit. No, that one's actually really good. This one, for some reason, seems to be crooked. So we got that. So there's our two and a quarter, and then we're going to do another one at um, an inch and three quarters for the top piece. So I'll just wheel that down to an inch and a quarter and I'll take this one here and I'll just cut that down okay now that I have these cut to the exact size I'm gonna wait on the middle post that's gonna go cross crossways like that until after I um, drill some holes through this very carefully through both of these 
and get them set and everything else. So we'll wait on this little piece for afterwards. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little hand drill and I'm going to gently drill a hole through the center of this on, and I'm probably going to have to come from both sides. So you want to do this really careful, carefully. And you want to make sure you keep that blade as straight as you can. So if you feel like you're going crooked, you can pull the uh, drill back out and try to recenter it. That side's done. Now I'm going to try to come to the other side and try to hit it right on the dot. So basically I'm just eyeballing it. If you feel like you need to uh, measure it out and put an X on there to get the center, go for it. But I'm just eyeballing this most of the time. Now hopefully the two ends met. If they didn't, you're probably really close. And I can tell you right now, I did not meet up with mine. How? I don't know. But they're probably just like right on top of each other. That or oh, wait, actually, yeah, it's hard to tell. But what we're gonna do next is we're just going to take a another size drill bit. I'm gonna go with one just a little bit smaller than the ones I have right now, and we're just this is where you have to be extremely careful. You can use a drill if you want to. Um so I would definitely have it on the lowest setting or just barely pull on the trigger. I'm going to try this time uh, by hand. You just want to make this wide enough so you can fit your positive and negative wires through. So I'm just twisting it back and forth. So I feel it's, I'm comfortable with it. And then I'll slowly start to drill through with it. Now same thing with this. Try to make sure you keep that centered as much as possible. And I'll just go back and forth from one side to the other. Trying to get them to line up. I can see that I'm a little off on this one already but I'm not near the edge which is a plus and I probably should meet up to the other one by then if I break through I can straighten it out I think I just broke through yeah I'm off just a hair not much so you're probably not going to be perfect there we go See, all the way through. So I just grind that through a little bit. Just keep drilling it, slide it in and out. Now if you have a skinny filing stick like I showed in a previous video of mine, which I'll post in there if you want to watch it, um, you can use one of those. Right now I don't have any of them, they're all inside the house. I'm out in the garage right now, as you can tell. So now I'm just going to step it up to the next size. This one is actually a 732. The previous drill bit I used was a 532. This will make it easier if you just do it by steps. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing with the top piece and I am going to drill all the way through and of course when you put the T together you're going to see the hole in the front and you're going to see the hole in the back but we're going to cover that up and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit so I'm going to drill this one out for now and I'll come back to you guys okay one more thing I wanted to explain to you before I move on to anything else while you know while I'm drilling these holes so here's the small the top piece it's drilled all the way through now this is going to sit this 
this one here is going to sit on, you know, that's going to, the little one's going to sit on top of it. So now you got a hole here, but you got no hole here. So we have to put a hole through here. About, yay, yeah, I'd say about right there. I'm just kind of guessing. You want to center it as best you can. But I'm going to do it at an angle so when you're running the wires through, um, it'll you can slide it through easier. It can be a little bit pro, uh, a little bit of a problem because it does get stuck on the foam. Um, that's one reason I try to smooth this out, the center out as much as I can so it doesn't get stuck on the foam. But I'm going to drill this in, but also kind of uh, at, at an angle a little bit. I'm gonna try to angle that through while I'm drilling it. So, just kind of pretty much small little angle. And I'm just gonna go back and forth with the drill bit until it pops a hole through, which it has. Just be careful when you're doing it. So now when this and this sit on top of each other, and I've run that wire through, it should be easier to run all that wire through. So, once again, that will go into that. That'll be your base, or your post. We'll put the angle piece there later. The way I'll run through here and then come through this way. Okay guys, so now I got all my pieces here. What we're gonna do is we are gonna take some 16 gauge electrical wiring um, and we're just gonna run it through the post and run that through make sure you got plenty of extra because this is going to be the tricky part is trying to get it through here and then through here um, I was doing a test run before I start shooting this real quick to see if I could get it to go through there and realize that's just a little bit of a tight fit so I'm going to have to um, open that up a little bit more if I can I also have a filing stick that I made it's just a barbecue skewer and some uh, I think 220 sandpaper so I'm going to try to make this a little bit smoother for the wires to run through they do get caught up in there and it's kind of a pain in the butt so I might have to take a drill bit or something and just try to open that up a little bit course not trying to make the hole too big so when you put this on here and here that it's open so much that should hide it pretty well though so just take these wires and slide them through yeah now that I smoothed that out that one so make sure you sand that out just all it is is a barbecue skewer and some 220 sandpaper glued super glued on there so then when you connect this and this together it will line up just right so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna get some super glue and try to super glue this so it matches up good it stays square and then we'll get our little cross piece in there make sure you got some room to work around with this um, I'm not going to be showing you how to uh, solder the LED light to the wires and uh, connecting it to the battery um, and to the switch. I might actually not do the switch at all, but I'm not sure. Um, but I will put a link to um, I'll put a link to this to a uh, YouTuber that has. Uh, a better explanation of how to solder the wires and everything else um, I'm just learning how to do this I've only done this like twice um, and I'm sure he can explain it better so we'll go with that 